<laughs> After a jury convicted Officer Peter Liang for the fatal shooting of a Kai girl, he scores of Asian Americans in New York City and beyond. They took to the streets to protest the verdict. They see bias in the decision. Well, a short time ago, I spoke with former New York City mm -hmm. Comptroller and mayoral hopeful John Liu, and he told me that he believes they have a point. Uh, you know, after that, Akai Gurley, um, uh, after the conviction came down for Officer Liang and that shooting, uh, you expressed your unhappiness. Um, why did you think justice wasn't served? Well, first and foremost, this was a terrible tragedy for Akai Gurley, the family, and the city of New York. Yet another innocent life was taken and taken away needlessly. Uh, on the other hand, many in the community feel that Officer Liang uh, though he's certainly not innocent, was, uh, was held to a much higher standard and, and convicted of something that was far greater than what he was actually guilty of. Uh, this was an incident, as you know, where the police officer's gun went off accidentally in a, a dark staircase. Uh, he wasn't shooting at anybody. The, the gun went off when he was scared and startled by a noise. Uh, and unfortunately, he was found guilty of manslaughter. People, myself included, feel that Peter Liang was just put out there as the, the person to blame for everything that has gone wrong. But do you think, let's say in three other police-related shootings preceding this, white or black officers were convicted, would you have the same objection then, or do you think that he was singled out because of his, his ethnicity? Do, is it more the problem with the conviction, or that this officer was convicted when others weren't? Okay, well, first of all, there were two convictions of Officer Liang, one of official misconduct, and I think that is, it's hard to argue with that conviction because he clearly should have done much, much more to help once he found that Akai Gurley had been shot, albeit accidentally. Uh, but the, the charge of manslaughter for the prosecutor to, in court, suggest that, suggest at the end of the trial, and taking a different tune, that Officer Liang deliberately and recklessly aimed at Akai Gurley and shot him dead, I mean, that is just too far of a stretch, and, and that con contributed to his conviction of manslaughter. I don't think anybody thinks Officer Liang went that day in that stairwell, and why two rookie cots repaired together again is a problem, and all the other things attendant to that. Uh, but. I think you talk to the majority of people, they say, the guy was just walking in a stairwell of his own building doing nothing wrong. Officer Liang shouldn't have had his gun out in the first place, shot, killed the guy. We know he didn't act uh, with any kind of prudence right after that, didn't prioritize the victim in that case. Something happened wrong there. I, I understand what preceded it and then where there weren't indictments when the majority of New Yorkers said, why aren't there indictments in other cases? But I don't think people think that Leanne got railroaded. They think that it's about time that justice is catching up here for regular citizens when they're shot in these kind of conflicts. If it turns out that sure. in succeeding shootings, similar to this, other cops are indicted, isn't it that justice is finally catching up, not so much that he was singled out? Well, he's already been singled out by the simple fact that he was indicted. I mean, how many other officers have been indicted for actually aiming the gun and shooting people in the back or in other cases where, you know, you have video capturing an illegal chokehold being used by a police officer. So the mere fact that he was indicted is already changing the tune. The mere fact that he was prosecuted was already changing the tune. And the, the fact that he's found guilty of official misconduct and fired from the job, that is already a far change, a, a, a wide change, a sub substantial change from what we have seen for many, many years. What many in the Asian American community are feeling, though, is that this is a set of double standards because the manslaughter charge and the way in which the prosecutor went about trying to convince the jury that this was manslaughter, it was just, uh, it was just, it was just too much. Good enough, John. I appreciate a few, and uh, don't be a stranger. I'm just a phone call away. Great to see you. I tried to push him, by the way, if he was thinking of uh, maybe primary the current mayor, he wouldn't bite. But, Dom, is he right? Uh, was there a double standard for this officer because he was Asian or different cases, different verdicts? From sitting in the courtroom, I was surprised to see the amount, as I have said on the show, of Asian-American journalists that were there day in, day out. 
out of 100 journalists, I would say 60 were Asian American. So obviously that points to that community feels that there's something that's terribly wrong. Officer Liang, now convicted, he's a victim of circumstances. He's a, it's true with, with uh, what, what the former controller just said. In almost any other borough besides the Bronx, there would have been no indictment to begin with. It is because you have this new district attorney, Ken Thompson, who came in on a platform beating legendary Joe Hines of saying he campaigned in barbershop, African, saying there's a different day in Brooklyn. If these incidents happen, we are actively seeking an indictment. So Liang is a victim of circumstances. He didn't help himself by not doing first aid, as you have pointed out night after night in that staircase, by not calling for uh, 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 EMS, community residents had to call. First call to a union rep. Right. I want to ask you before I run out of time. You sat down with Peter Lynch on a bunch of these things. I remember in the Eric Garner case, he came out vocally night after night in support of the cops in Staten Island. Mm -hmm. I didn't hear him being as vocal for Officer Lee Ng. Was that just my perception? Your, your perception is a thousand percent accurate. What the PBA did in this case is they gave him, Liang, the officers that they do to walk in and out of the courtroom with you. But I think the PBA felt that this was a bad shoot and basically walked away from politically from this while they were in the middle of a contract, let's not forget that, negotiation. Interesting conversation. Guys, I appreciate it. Um, we're gonna, on the other side of the break, uh, jump back to politics and take a look at whether we've ever seen anything like we saw today in this election season before here. We'll be talking to a historian, I'll say, if you think this is like Goldwater in 64, think again. <laughs>